That was her state before she actually practiced Buddhism. So once she understood and got in contact with Buddhism, she started to reflect inside. She understood why she was always unhappy and always making a mess in the relationship with her family. She has changed 180 degrees once she learned the teachings. She kept practicing in her daily life. One of her practices is showing gratitude. No matter what kind of condition she met, be it favorable or adverse, she would always keep a grateful heart and that helped her to get through it and retain her balance. So, we also have pursuits in Buddhism, but we pursue inner peace, we pursue inner wisdom, instead of going outside and satisfying our sensory desires. The true treasure is in your heart. The true wealth bank is in your heart. The true wealth lies inside your heart. If she has anything extra, she will give it to other people, to people in need. She lives carefree, happily. She does not nitpick anymore. That's the look of a person who truly practices Buddhism. Are we like that? Not necessarily. When we look at people, or when we look at how people handle things, or look at other people's stuff, we might actually fall into the trap of holding a grudge, nitpicking and pursuing more desires. We are deluded in that way. That's why we have these teachings telling us we can awaken from that. As long as you're not fully awakened, you will definitely commit a certain degree of faults. So now the point is, I have done something wrong. The problem is, if I'm not aware of it and do not repent and do not attempt to change it, every day allowing it to fester, that means allowing it to grow every day. Then I must understand that there are consequences behind that. So if you keep committing negative karma, then the consequences are you will continue to suffer in this life and the next life. Because we keep doing the cause that leads us there, committing wrong views, wrong ideas, wrong deeds, wrong speech and wrong actions. We are all accumulating negative karmas and are bound not to any of the six realms, the lower three paths, hungry ghost, animal, and even worse, the hell realm. Trust me, it's hard to get out. It's easy to go in, but very hard to get out of the three bad realms. We must understand that.